Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at the Alesis DM Pro module. It's the big brother to the Alesis DM5. It's been discontinued for quite a number of years now, but a lot of people are still using this module, and you can still find it from time to time on eBay. The DM Pro module has a few features not found in the DM5, such as a snare drum input that's dual zone that has separate head and rim shot. It will also support dual zone chokeable symbols for your crash. So let's get into this module and take a look at the settings. To get to the module settings, you're going to press the trig button on the DM Pro module. We're going to start off with number one and go in order. Number one happens to be our bass drum. You'll use the cursor button on your module to move around to change any settings. You'll notice that it's under note right now. That's where we want it to be to flip through the different type of settings to take a look at them. First we're going to take a look at the bass drum. You'll note the gain is at 17. The velocity curve is linear. All of your drums and cymbals on this module need to be set at linear. The linear setting makes it so that a softer hit will produce a lower volume sound and a harder hit will produce a louder sound. The threshold is at negative 50 and the re-trigger is at 5. Have the crosstalk off with the kick drum and the noise suppression is off. Okay, trigger number two. I'm hitting the trigger over. You'll notice that number two is now flashing and that's our snare drum head. The gain is set at 40. The velocity curve is linear. Threshold negative 80. Retrigger is at 20. The crosstalk is off. Noise suppression is off. Trigger over to number three, which is our rim. The gain is at 80. The velocity curve is linear. Threshold negative 53. Retrigger is at six. Crosstalk is at negative 20. Set a little bit high to keep the head from falsely triggering the rim. Noise suppression is off. Okay, next are our TOM inputs. Those are inputs 4, 5, and 6. All of the settings are going to be the same on those drums. The gain is set at 35. The velocity curve is linear. Threshold is minus 80. Retrigger is 20. Crosstalk is off. And noise suppression is off. Okay, now we'll move over to input number seven. That's going to be our crash symbol. Okay, our gain is at 30. Velocity curve is linear. Threshold is minus 80. The re-trigger is at 30. Crosstalk is off and noise suppression is off. Okay, input number eight is going to be for the choke to the crash symbol. The gain is 25. Velocity curve is linear. Threshold is negative 51. Retrigger is at six. Crosstalk is off. And noise suppression is off. Okay, now we'll move over to input number nine, and I have a single zone 10 inch splash in trigger nine. The gain is set at 30. Velocity curve is linear. Threshold is minus 80. Retrigger is at 30. Crosstalk is off. 
and noise suppression is off. Okay, we'll move over to input 11. That's our ride symbols, bow. The gain is at 45. The velocity curve is linear. Threshold is negative 80. Retrigger is 6. Crosstalk is off. Noise suppression is also off. Now let's take a look at the bottom of our ride symbol so I can show you how I'm using one of Pentec's RS5 triggers to get a bell sound out of this module. Okay, what I did on my ride symbol, this is a dual zone ride, but the Alesis DM Pro recognizes a different type of triggering system than what the Pentec ride has. Um, what I had to do to get that, I used the regular trigger as a single zone symbol and then I added just an RS5 trigger under the bell and then I used a Y adapter and plugged those both into the back of the module so I'd get a separate bell and a bow sound. If you're looking to add the additional sound to an existing symbol all you have to do is just pick up one of these little external triggers and it's got a sticky adhesive tape just put it under the bell of your symbol and wide in with a Y adapter and an additional single zone cable and you're good to go. If you're looking to buy a new symbol for your DM Pro module, then your best bet is just to buy a single zone 16 or 18 or whatever size ride symbol you're planning on using and add the external trigger to it. All right, number 12 is going to be our input for the bell. The gain is set at 50. The velocity curve is linear. The threshold is at 50. The retrigger is at 10. Crosstalk is off. And noise suppression is off. Input number 13 is going to be our hi hat symbol. The gain is set at 80. Velocity curve linear. Threshold is minus 78. Retrigger is at 6. Crosstalk is off. Noise suppression is also off. And then I have in input number 15 is the hi hat control pedal. Okay, the gain on the hi hat pedal is 25. It's a linear curve, threshold is set at zero. The retrigger is at 10. The hi hat pedal selection is selected as being a pedal. Noise suppression is off. Well, that pretty much sums it up for the Alesis DM Pro settings. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us or join us online at Pentex Forum. You can access it through Pentec's website, pentecworld.com. Now remember, these are just some general settings to get you started. You may have to fine tune your drum with your module. But if you have any questions, we're here to help out. Until then, take care and keep drumming.